Okay, since my math doesn't have a video about using the TI-8084 80, 80, um, to calculate the correlation, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it here. Now, uh, if you haven't used your calculator yet to do a regression, your first thing you wanna do is press the second button. Here, let me get my pointer going so you can see a, see a glowy thing. So I'm gonna press my second button, and I know the second button's been pressed because of that up arrow. And then you come down to catalog. And what we get to do is we get to turn on this diagnostic feature that's on the calculator. It might be already on. You only have to do it once until your calculator resets. Um, so one way to get down to the Ds really quickly, I mean, you can just press the, press the air down arrow, it'll go down, but that can take a while. You see the green alpha button and then that D here, the green D? I'm gonna press alpha D and then I gotta do it again, alpha D. Then I jump down to the Ds and then I'm just gonna come down to diagnostics on. I want diagnostics on. I'm gonna press enter, then enter again. And what that does is when I do a regression equation, it'll show me R and R squared now. So now I'm gonna get this data into my calculator. So I'm gonna press stat, I'm gonna edit it. I don't have anything in my list. If I did, the easy way to clear it out is press your up arrow so you're on the L1, press clear, and then enter, and that'll clear out your list. I just, so what if I do this? Why don't I type a couple dummy numbers in here? Okay, if I wanted to clear out my list, I'm just gonna do um, up arrow, so I'm on L1, I'm gonna press clear, then enter. Okay, if you accidentally go up, press up arrow and press delete, um, where's delete? If I press delete and I delete my L2 and my L1, and I, you know, where'd they go? Well, I can't get them. I can't, they're gone. They aren't here anymore. The way you get that back is you do stat, setup editor, choice five, and then press enter. Now, if you go back to your stat edit list, you'll see your L1 and L2. Okay. This is the voice of experience. I've done this before. Um, so I'm going to enter in my X's and L1, so 37.5. Um, I would stop this so you don't have to watch me do this, but the software I'm using makes it a real pain to stop and start a video. So um, 25.9. Now I've on in real life, now off the computer, I've got a new TI calculator. The the, the TI eighty four CEs love it. It's a great calculator. If you're going to buy one, I would get one. Uh, don't buy one for this class, but if you're going to take more math, uh, boy, it's where it's worth the premium price you're paying. Let's see. Now the biggest mistake you can make typing in numbers in your calculator is missing one. Double, double, putting something in twice. I've see, I'm seeing seven numbers. See how L1 is at the seventh item? Let's make sure I've got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm okay with that. So now I'm going to do the Y. So let's see, 58.4, 17.3, 49.7, 27.8, 11.8. Oopsie, 11.9. I made a mistake. 11.8. Um, 28.5, and then 29.5. Okay, so I've got I got the same number of items in both columns. That's important because if I didn't, it would give me a dimension mismatch. So if you do get that error, dimension dimension mismatch, that lets you know you typed you had an entry error. Hopefully, I've got these numbers all typed in correctly. I'm not seeing any mistakes. Maybe you are watching this later. I'll tell you, I like to do, I like to see what the graph looks like. I'm going to try, I'm going to look at a scatter plot, even though this problem's not asking me to do that. Uh, L1, L2, then I'm going to make sure I don't have any equations graphing. Good. Then I'm just going to zoom nine. Well, let's see. So I'm seeing that. That looks weird. Uh, does that make sense? Let's see. Uh... I'm gonna hit trace. Just wanna make sure that I get that number typed in right. That's the last one. When was I there? 
there. What? So that's 58. 49.7 okay so that is a that is a strange point that's off off the pattern or else this one's off the pattern one or the other but I wanted to make sure so how do you calculate correlation that's why you're watching this video so press stat calc air over to calc and then you get two choices for linear regression choice four if you want to do the MX plus B form or if you want to do the statisticians form where they have the slope coming coming second it doesn't matter. Both will give you the same information. Since I'm down there, I'll use this one. Um, now, in your newer models of calculators, you're going to get a little bit different screen. You'll say, what's your X list? What's your Y list? Then that's where you're going to have L1 and L2 be kind of your default. But to, for the answer to this question, here's my correlation. Here's my, uh, my R squared value. Now, notice they want this as a percentage, so I'm going to have to multiply that by 100. So let's see, correlation is 0 0.862. How many decimal places do they want? Three decimal places, so I'm going to round that to two. And then R squared, I'm going to make it be 74.3, 74 looks like should work. We'll find out if it's being picky today. And then let's submit and see if I get them right. Oh, I did. That's a good thing. So that's how you use your calculator to do this.